Uh, All right. Um, so when you had asked about what my favorite pot was, that took a lot of hard, hard thinking because what is my favorite pot? Uh, essentially, I've been collecting pots that all have a different story. All are my favorite in some way. You know, just kind of, I guess if you're asked a parent, you know, who's your favorite child, um, they're going to say all of them. You know, there's not one that's just better than another. So you, I had to start thinking about what holds the most sentimental value. Um, that if it went missing, what would break my heart? You know, some pots you might love technically or the form. Um, or the person, um, or the name behind it, but um, it came down to if it was if it ended up broken or missing, it'd feel like a part of me was gone, and I would have to say it's um, after a lot of searching and thinking, it's this coffee mug that is actually it was made by someone who's not a potter, um, it's a figurative artist, and it's uh, Tom Bartel, and the reason why. I had to select this mug was for for several reasons, and, a, and the majority of it is going to go into again the sentimental aspects and traits. He was my professor. Um, I had no intentions on taking a ceramics class. I went to school to be a graphic designer. I think kind of like most art students do, and and it wasn't until I took a a class where we had to use a lot of our you know um, craftsmanship and our hand and stuff. And so I realized that I didn't like the computer to be my main source, my tool for most creative um, creations. And so from there, it went into 3D design. And from 3D design, that's when I realized I wanted ceramics. And it took me going to Tom Bartel to say that I was interested in, in really creating everything with my hands. Um, so I signed up for two classes. And at the end of my semester, taking two classes, he, um, he approached me. And, and I'll fall will always remember this because it, I think it meant the most to me as a student and someone so eager to want to learn as much as he could about art that Tom Bartell noticed the discipline that I, I, I instilled from going to military school throughout high school and he just approached me and I was just so honored when he had asked you know would you be would you consider being a, a um, ceramics major and in one way I'm thinking yeah you just need the numbers but in another, he, it was personal. It wasn't, hey, take, be a major. It was he took the time and, and he followed through with that throughout the years. It was um, he could always foresee the direction that you were going. And, and for that, I've, I was someone took time to care about the students that they have. And so the mug right now, and I can go into more later, but the, this mug that was made from him, he made for... Uh, my graduating class, there was four of us, and he handed this to me in his kind of like Tom Bartell sort of way and sit on the table and be like, there you go, get out of here. And, and I loved it, like I fell in love with it instantly because for several reasons. Um, I guess this is now when I kind of really describe all the, the traits, but first and foremost that it came from him. You know, he was, he was the, um, the mentor that I needed he was the, you know, he's been currently a great friend. He has never stopped with his instruction um, and advice. And it's always in his Tom Bartell sort of way. And I admire that. Um, but it was the fact that he doesn't throw. And, I mean, he does. He teaches, he had to teach a, a throwing class. Um, but the, what I love about this cup is it represents everything that I believe that he had been trying to teach me those years. And with the military school, as I was talking about, with the discipline, it also came with everything had to be uniform. Everything had to be tight. Um, and he would he worked so hard at telling me to loosen the fuck up. And so finally, you know, when I, I saw this mug and realized, you know, everything has been thought out. Everything has, you know, the the lip is is not perfectly round. If you get a shot of it, um, the throwing rings. But everything, in a sense, although it's not perfect, everything's been considered. Uh, I love how the glaze looks like it's beer foaming over the edge. I don't even drink beer. I don't even like beer that much. Um, and then for him, when he had taught us decals, and, and going into the decal quality of this mug, it was um, one of the things that I admire about Tom was if he couldn't teach it, who could? 
because he was a single-handed, he was the only ceramics faculty that was teaching ceramics at the time. And, and so we had incredible um, visiting artists come in and he'd always turn them into assignments. And, and so his sense of whimsy and, and play and discovery with the decals on this round and brown sort of atmospheric fired mug and then having this dainty decals on it, whiskey lover, that too kind of just planted a seed. So not only do you have this unrefined mug that fits my hand, you know, and others, I don't really like to share this one. I mean, I'll do occasionally, but uh, I find it a memento, a trophy of my time there at Western, um, that it was just kind of the, the introduction to what the rest of my life I feel like was going to be. Um, and that kind of, that father figure almost being like, here you go, son, go out into the world. Here's your whiskey mug. Um, now it's time to be a man. I've been, last night I stood, I stood there looking at all the cups and I'd love for y'all to come upstairs.